Gino, Gene Monahan. Well, you meet a lot of people when you're in sports, and there are very few people that you can meet that are as classy a gentleman and as nice a man as Gene Monahan. Well, this told up 49 years in the Yankee organization, and he joins us now here in the second inning. Gino, what's up? This is a real thrill and a treat to be up here in your office instead you, of you down in mine. You always, <laughs> you always wanted to uh, be a broadcaster on Yes, so here's your chance. This is a tryout tape, Gene. Ah, forget it. Too late. <laughs> what, do you got stage fright up here, Gino? No, I don't think no. I do. I thought I would, but I don't think so. It's, uh, I always thought I could do this, but now that I'm up here and see this in action, I'm better off down here. Yeah? Now, you you with the Yankee organization so long, Gino. How cool is it to be involved in Old Timers Day and see so many of the players that you work with? It's... You know, you, you talk about it each year, and this is only my second old-timers, but it's uh, it's more than a thrill. It's just it's a huge, huge family reunion is all it is. And getting together with these guys for a couple of days and a few evenings and spinning some yarns means the world to everybody, and everybody just feeds off each other, and it's just a wonderful thing they do here. Getting his ring in 2010 after the 09 championship. Big hug from uh, Joe Girardi. And... Uh, Coming back from medical issues and obviously uh, very emotional as well, and a, a huge ovation from the crowd. That must have been a special day, Gene. It certainly was a huge surprise. I'd gotten a letter to throw out the first ball for Mr. Steinbrenner, Hal Steinbrenner, and, and one thing led to another, and here we go. Uh, actually, I think that was another year. But um, we went out to uh, to the first base area there and turned around, and nobody else was coming out, and there's Jorge <laughs> clapping, and I thought, uh oh. What are they doing to me here? So it was it was quite emotional. A little bit embarrassing, but I felt the love from every fan in the ballpark. There's Kelly Johnson with a 1-1 one -one count. That one's fouled away. Now, is it true? You, you hear rumors, Gino, so I'll ask you straight out. That O'Neill was the, the, the one player that annoyed you the most. Worst the patient years. of all time? Well. Come on, Gino. Sugarcoat it. Now. I'm sitting right here. <laughs> I'm going to give you my best shot with this. Uh, <laughs> that's a surprise question. <laughs> He's one of the hardest nosed warriors, I'll preface with that. That's, keep it coming, Gino. But That's good stuff. There. On a scale of uh, 1 to 10, the pain threshold was 0. 0.6. 0. 0.6? 0. 0.6? Way down, wow. way, down, way down there. Wow, so he's in the room a lot. Uh, Those foul balls off the ankles really were devastating. I'll tell you, I, I learned as my career got older, you just, if you were hurt, don't go in Gino's office. Why? Because the next thing he would be talking to Joe Torrey, and the next thing you were getting the night off. So I'd walk in, Gino say, how you feel? Great. Absolutely perfect. And Swing then wait and till he leaves and Stevie would help you out with stuff. There you go. <laughs>